We're back again and we're looking at exponentials still. So what we have in this case is 4 to the 7 times 6 to the 7 and all of that divided by 8 to the 7. And we've been saying that you can't handle these kind of equations unless the bases are the same. Well, I'm going to show you a couple tricks based using the laws that we've already learned, a way to simplify this down and solve it. Because so right now, again, 4 to 7, 6 to 7, 8 to 7, we can't really combine those two easily. But we can think, if this is everything to the power of 7, that's the same as if I pull that out. And what do I mean by that? Well, I've got 4 times 6 on top, 8 on the bottom, and all of that to the power of 7. Remember, when we looked at applying the exponents to everything, that means I'd apply 7 to the 4 to the 6 and the 8. So I'm just doing this rule in reverse. And why? Because now I have 4 times 6 over 8. 7 no longer matters. So 4 times 6, we can say, is 24 all over 8. All of this still to the 7. And 24 over 8 is just 3. And now, finally, I bring the 7 back in. So it helps simplify this down just by applying the exponential rule, kind of in reverse from what we've been doing. But there's also another way to solve this. We'll look and use our orange marker for this one. So again, starting off with 4, I'm going to actually write it over here, 4 to the 7, 6 to the 7, 8 to the 7. Well, if I want to, I can think that 6 to the 7 Basically, you use this trick, but apply it to each term. So I'm thinking of 6 to the 7, 8 to the 7. Well, I can rewrite the 6 as 2 times 3, both to the 7, and the 8 as 4 times 2, both to the 7. Well, if I, say, multiply this back into there, just doing it very methodically, 4 to the 7, times 2 to the 7, and 3 to the 7. And in fact, I don't even need this bracket that I started to draw. I'll just do my dot for multiplication. 4 to the 7, 2 to the 7. Now why is this useful? Well look, 4 to 7 on top, 4 to 7 on the bottom. Anything divided by itself is 1. x divided by x, 4 to the 7 divided by 4 to the 7. Anything divided by itself is 1 and therefore cancels. Same is true of 2 to the 7. And all we're left with is that same 3 to 7 we just got there. So two different ways of cleaning this up and simplifying it. Thank you.